still on our continuous coverage of the Ukraine-Russia war. Russia and Ukraine war have been escalating with no end in sight. Kiev has declared that the counteroffensive has begun and Moscow is not willing to back down. The cost of this war is rising day by day. So one question on everybody's mind right now is that when is the war going to end? When will peace arrive? Several countries from China to Denmark have tried to initiate the peace process. One country that has now thrown its hat in the peace ring is South Africa. President Cyril Ramaphosa briefed the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi about African leaders' peace mission. He also informed his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping about the same. A six-member African delegation will visit the conflict-ridden countries this month. It will include the leaders from Republic of Congo, Egypt, Senegal, South Africa, Uganda and Zambia. Remember, the African countries are battling rising prices of grain since Russia invaded Ukraine. Denmark has earlier, Denmark, pardon me, Denmark earlier said that it would like to host Ukraine Peace Summit in the month of July. But it emphasized on the need of engagement from the countries like India, Brazil and China. Early in the month of May, the Chinese Ukrainian envoy visited European countries in a bit to bring peace. Its envoy met with officials in Ukraine, Poland, France, Germany and Brussels. He appealed the other governments to stop sending weapons to the battlefield and hold peace talks. Listen in. Beijing had also proposed a peace plan in February, but the Western powers insisted that Moscow must withdraw the Russian forces from Ukraine. So when and at what cost will peace come? That's the question all of us have been asking. But one does not know. But certainly a major part of it depends on the main man, pardon me, on the man sitting in the Oval Office. Ukraine has become the top recipient of U.S. foreign aid since February 2022. The United States has directed more than $75 billion in assistance to Ukraine so far.